I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Great Atlantic Resources has announced its 2021 exploration program at its KeyMet base metal precious metal property. The 100% owned 3,400 hectare property, located approximately 20 kilometers northwest of Bathurst in northeastern New Brunswick, Canada, has excellent access with paved roads, including a provincial highway transecting the property. Great Atlantic's focus since acquiring the property in 2011 has been the northwest region of the property where the company reported high-grade gold, silver, copper and zinc, including a drill intercept of 9.04% zinc, 9.19% copper and 1,158 grams per tonne silver over a 3-metre core length. Six polymetallic vein type occurrences with silver, zinc, lead and plus or minus copper and plus or minus gold are reported in the northwest region of the KeyMet property. A float sample from 2011 assayed 51 grams per tonne gold. A gold bearing zone discovered during 2017 diamond drilling near the Elm Tree 12 vein system assayed 0.64 grams per tonne gold over a 19.96 meter core length. Channel samples from a gold bearing zone exposed in 2012 trench averaged 1.09 grams per tonne gold over 11.78 meters. The KeyMet property hosts the historic KeyMet mine located in the northwest region of the property. The KeyMet mine operated during the mid 1950s, producing copper, lead, zinc, and silver before production was terminated in 1956 due to a fire at the site. Reported production at the KeyMet mine during 1954 to 1956 was 59,000 tons, averaging 2.59% zinc, 2.44% lead, and 0.25% copper, and 33.94 grams per ton silver. Two rock dump samples collected during 2011 at the historic KeyMet mine site returned. 33.9% lead, 22.9% zinc, 2.55% copper, and 549 parts per million silver. 1.23% lead, 1.48% zinc, 4.22% copper, and 415 parts per million silver. Great Atlantic Diamond drilling during 2015, 2017, and 2018 at the Elm Tree 12 vein system within the northwest region intersected high grade silver, copper, and zinc mineralization in veins within a north south trending sub vertical system. More significant intercepts of 1,158 grams per ton silver, 9.04% zinc, and 9.19% copper over 3 meters, and 16.68% zinc over 1.80 meters are shown in this table. Planned work in the northwest region of the property includes prospecting, rock soil geochemical sampling, geophysical surveys, trenching and diamond drilling. Great Atlantic is also planning exploration during 2021 in the southwest to central regions of the KeyMet property, including prospecting and rock soil geochemical sampling and geophysical surveys. A gold occurrence referred to as the Alceda East occurrence was reported in this region of the property where reported historical highlights for this region region include 2.5 grams per ton gold over 6.1 meters and 1.9 grams per ton gold over 1.5 meters in a historical trench from the 1980s. 3.3 grams per ton gold over 0.60 meters in a historical trench and 4.3 grams per ton gold in a grab sample at the Alceda East occurrence. Gold soil geochemical anomalies were reported during 2005, including reported high values for gold of 217 and 325 parts per billion. The historic Nigadu River Mine is located approximately 4 kilometers south of the Kemet property, where massive sulfide veins were mined during the 1960s and 1970s with copper, lead, zinc and silver being produced. Production during 1967 to 1971 is reported as 1.126 million tons at 2.2% lead, 2.1% zinc, 0.24% copper and 92.57 grams per ton silver. Three gold deposits with reported mineral resources are located within adjacent mineral claims approximately two kilometers southwest of the KeyMet property boundary. A NI43101 technical report for the Elm Tree Gold property produced by Micon International in 2011 for CNRP Mining and Gorilla Resources reported resources including 
For the West Gabro zone, indicated resources of 1,611,000 tons at 1.91 grams per ton gold and inferred resources of 2,053,000 tons at 1.67 grams per ton gold. For the South Gold Zone, inferred resources of 2,367,000 tons at 0.74 grams per ton gold. And for the Discovery Zone, inferred resources of 741,000 tons at 1.18 grams per ton gold. Great Atlantic has no interest in these deposits and management cautions that mineralization at these adjacent mineral claims is not necessarily indicative of mineralization on the Kemat property. Great Atlantic, with a number of properties in the Atlantic provinces, is utilizing a project generation model with a special focus on critical elements which are prominent in Atlantic Canada, such as antimony, tungsten and gold. The shares are trading at 50 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, greatatlanticresources.com. Contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO at 604-488-3900 or email office at greatatlanticresources.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.